send a thousand planes back to Somalia. Send a thousand plane loads back to Iraq. Send them back to their lovely homelands after ISIS is crushed so we can get America back again. It's a dream. I have a dream. You say it's only a fantasy. Who knows? I'm a fantasist. Okay, is it time for a quick call? I hope so. The minute I return right here on The Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or Swiss America. Are you listening to the one and only Savage Nation? If I may say so myself, the one and only sitting here at the helm. <clears throat> So people are writing this to me. Michael, Hillary is complicit in the Boko Haram crimes. She refused to put them on the terror watch list so that we could target them. Why, I don't know. Maybe they donated to the Clinton Fund. You know, I posted that horrible, nightmarish, st stolen video from the Daily Mail on my Facebook account. I put it on my michaelsavage.com website of the ISIS vermin taking the young girls away from their families to rape them as they scream. And then they took their fathers out into the fields and shot them. And there's nothing being said about this by the surfer in Hawaii or by Hillary or by anyone for that matter. And I've been screaming about this. Where are the Jewish groups? I keep screaming, where are the Jewish groups? You say, well, what are you picking on the Jews for? I'm not picking on the Jews. I'm appealing to the professional Jewish organizations who exist to protect the Jewish people first and other minorities. After all, if the, if the motto is never again, to never allow a Holocaust again, and we are witnessing a Holocaust in front of our eyes, ongoing, and the Jews don't speak out, then who will? Where is a Foxman when we don't need him? Where are the tree huggers and the liberals when we when we don't need them? Where? Where's the Vatican? Where's the United Nations? Where are the feminists? There's no humanity left in this country. And that's why Trump is soaring. Is because he's saying what most of us think. We don't believe a word coming out of the mouths of Hillary. We don't believe a word coming out of the religious organizations, religion and corporation incorporated. This is an abomination, and Obama's flooding refugees from the Middle East in as quickly as he can. Beyond belief, huh? Okay, so we're supposed to tolerate this? We're supposed to tolerate this? Why is CAIR not saying a word about what ISIS is doing to these little girls? Listen to the screams of those girls, I dare you. I dare, I dare all of you sneering liberal losers. Of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. I really deplore the tone of his campaign and the inflammatory rhetoric that he is using uh, to divide people and his going after groups of people uh, with hateful, incendiary... Hillary clip. Look who's talking about kindness and uh, hate and incendiary rhetoric. Is a woman built her entire life on it. Well, we'll play a little of the old Hillary one of these days. We have all of those tapes. The screaming old Hillary is not seen anymore. The uh, newer, kinder Hillary is seen. And she's freaked out that, all, that, that Trump's beating her in every poll. She can't believe it. She thought this was hers to lose. She never thought the Republicans would even permit him to get this far. She thought it would be one of the patsies. As good as they are, any Republican that I see on that stage, with the exception of maybe one, Rubio I've never trusted. He's a front man for uh, special interests beyond all the others put together. I think we took all the special interests combined for all the other candidates on the Republican side and combined them. They wouldn't be as many as the special interests controlling Rubio. From day one, from the get-go, the smiling little boy that they found with the ice cream truck, ding -a -ling, in Miami. It's like the gardener with Peter Sellers. They wanted to make him president. I don't know if I want to continue this intensity in this hour. Because I'm, you know, enough is enough already. 
I'd rather talk about my conversation with Robert and the movie we're going to do, but I can't because I'll give the plot away. It'll be stolen before it leaves my breath. You know, ideas are very rare in this world. Really, original ideas are as rare as you can imagine. So I've always been reluctant to float book ideas around, even through an agent, because they, they can get stolen. You think about it. Think about what happens. I'm going to go backwards in a minute. You know, I've, my first commercial book was published in 1972, Earth Menace and Earth Foods. It sold, it sold hundreds of thousands, you know, and in many printings in many languages. I have it in German and this and that. So I was successful as a mildly successful, not, I don't mean Stephen King level, but I was able to make a living as a writer in the 70s, a young family. And I was writing health books and nutrition books and just, I really lived that. It was my whole life, truthfully. It's all I dreamed about were doing health books and botany and ethnobotany. I had books stolen, whole book, books was, never mind book ideas. I'll give you an example. My book, I think it was the Maximum Immunity book that Houghton Mifflin published that was in nine languages. A French author stole the entire book down to the last word, translated into French, published it in France. It became a bestseller, and we could not collect a dime from the French in the courts because they protect their, their own, by the way. So that was my uh, quarterization. Then I had another book uh, proposal stolen from a publisher. You see, when they float them around... Everyone has brother-in-laws and cousins and boyfriends. You see, a good idea. Why can't they just share it with someone who has quicker access to a publisher, get it published, and steal the idea? I had that happen. So as I've gotten older, I've gotten smarter. I don't put ideas out there where they can be ripped off. Except on the radio show, I give too much away for nothing. <laughs> I wonder how many people have made money off some of my ideas. I don't really care about some of the things. I mean, come on. I'm like a, a wheel that spins around and throws off sparks. And the sparks, if they trigger your imagination, good good for you. Take it and run with it. That's all. I don't need every penny on the planet. I don't know why I'm even talking about it. I just don't want to talk about this this threat right now of the girls screaming, the uh, the Yazidis and the little girls. Or anyone who watches that, they're getting incensed. They want to know why Obama's not bombing ISIS. They want to know why Hillary's not mentioning the rape of these little girls. They want to know why the National Organization for Women is not mentioning the greatest travesty against women in our lifetime, ongoing on an industrial level rape of young, young girls. They want to know why the UN, filled with those useless idiots, is saying virtually nothing. They want to know. They don't know the answer yet. 21 years I've been on the radio giving you the answer as to why liberalism, the mental disorder, will kill all of us. It's killing us right in front of our eyes. Killing the culture for sure, right? Isn't that what's going on? Isn't that what you're screaming about? Isn't that why you feel lost? Don't you? Isn't that what's freaking you out? That the culture is being decimated? A homicide is being committed against American culture. Obama has committed homicide against our borders and against our. Isn't that what's going on? Isn't that what you're screaming about? Isn't that why you feel lost? Don't you? Isn't that what's freaking you out that the culture's being decimated? The big guys with billions of dollars have never done better. Well, triple Dutch, triple Irish taxation. You know, Apple's never done better. Google's never done better. Hey, if you got your company headquartered in Ireland and you can uh, keep 70% of your profits overseas and not pay your 39% fair, percent fair share or give Jerry Brown his 15%, what could be better as long as you fund their campaigns? You can get away with virtually anything. That's called homicide, the homicide of reality, if you want to put it to you that way. So people are, are very upset because no one's representing them. No one's representing them. There's no politician other than Donald Trump who even comes near representing their fears and their concerns and their, their dreams, for that matter. And that's why he's soaring. And that's why Hillary is falling like a dead blimp. She's like, his, you know, the old song, Led Zeppelin. She is a Led Zeppelin. That Zeppelin, while it floated for a while, is basically very close to Earth. It needs its tethers right now to bring it down safely because it's gone as high as it's going to go. They can't import voters fast enough to keep that Zeppelin afloat. Hey, do we have any Led Zeppelin music? I don't even know what they play, Robert. You, you know music. You're younger than me. I don't even know who the Led I know this. I mean, I certainly know who the group is. But I don't remember what they made. What they do with the Led Zeppelin? Didn't they do a couple of great big songs? 
Isn't it a great day today? Today is Wednesday on the cusp of Christmas Eve day tomorrow. Friday is the day that America goes silent night, holy night. Chinese restaurants are filled with Jewish people. The old Muslim saying from a Muslim acquaintance of mine, actually he owns a great restaurant in North Beach, Mo, he said, when Jews fast, Muslims starve, which is very funny, by the way. It's a very funny statement. I never had never heard it before. I laughed. He said it to me in the restaurant while Lorenzo was still alive. I don't go in there anymore. I don't know what it is. Nothing wrong with it. Food's good. If Lorenzo's not there, I don't want to go there. I go over to my friend Pinocchio, Giovanni, Sicilian restaurant. Great guy. I don't even go there anymore. I become a hermit. I hang out with Teddy. It's very agitating times, i got to tell you. It's not a time to have a great time right now. It's like nothing's really changed and everything's changed, right? I mean, the sky is blue, the clouds are white. Am I the only one who feels this? There's something wrong with me? Should I see a therapist? Should I get medicated for the first time in my life? I mean, aren't things just coming up roses? Isn't Obama doing great for America? Is there something wrong with me? Uh, you have a Led Zeppelin yet? Before I say anything, I regret. He's still looking. I don't even know what they did. I'm just feeling good. Which is very dangerous, because once I feel good, I go into a manic phase. And in my manic phase, sometimes genius comes out. Some, sometimes i got to be careful of what comes out. So i got to be very cautious when I start to move into the uh, into this curve, this part of the, of the sign curve. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about uh, uh, Tourette, remember? That was a good show. I just slipped into it because it was a topic that had come up on TV, and I was interested in it. I knew nothing about it. I thought that was a fascinating show. It helped me in a certain way with my own issues. I swear to God, it's not like I have Tourette. I know that. But who doesn't have issues in their life that they've dealt with their whole life? And when you get older, you want to hear something a little, a little secret for those of you younger? The things that you think were not that important when you were younger that you're buried, they're going to come back when you're older. They don't go away. They come back. Did you know that? People don't understand this. Unresolved problems that you, have, that you think you moved past or buried, they're never buried. They come back up to the surface as you get older and you have time to think about them. So you kind of got to resolve them, incidentally. Still don't have Led Zeppelin. I'm very close to saying something I regret. You better play it right now, Robert. Go ahead. Come on, man. Hit the, hit the thing already. Damn. That is so not my brainwave today. Where are these guys today? In a nut house? Are they still living? Where are they? Boca Raton with walking around on the beach with a transfusion tree and a toupee? Hair transplants? Where are these guys today? I look back on the 70s, the 60s, all these musicians, you know, I used to envy them. I don't know. Are they still living? What, I mean, Bob Dylan's still alive. He looks like my grandmother. Looks like my grandmother Yentl. I don't know how he lives so long. He does look like my grandmother Yentl. And he's still performing, God bless him. I don't know how they do it with what they abuse their bodies with. Or you take the Rolling Stones. What's his name? Uh, Jaeger. Jägermeister, Mick Jägermeister. Look at Mick Jäger. He's 102 years old. And the guy is still dancing like Jumping Jack Flash with what he's put in his veins? My God, how? How? He comes from that pirate stock that built the, that built the old Britain. That's, that's how you look at him. He looks like an, oh, an old pirate, doesn't he? Mick Jäger stock? Mick Jäger stock. He looks like one of the old pirates from the old days. The old days when they would kill everybody in the village and steal the gold. <laughs> I think it's just genetic. I mean, they have this raw genetic power. The guy is, what, 80, 79? They can still get up and do the thing? Unbelievable. Hey, do you have Jumping Jack Flash before I take a break soon? Take some calls, whatever. I don't know if I want to talk about this stuff anymore. I'd almost rather talk about Royal Dalton Pottery or Cuckoo Clocks or Nancy Pelosi's uh, meatball recipe, which was found in North Beach in a toilet bowl somewhere while Hillary was taking a break. I mean, I really do want to do stuff like that. It's one of the best recipes for meatballs ever discovered. After she left the restaurant, it was found in a, on the restroom floor. That's right, after Hillary left, they found Nancy Pelosi's meatball recipe. Can't believe what's in it. You don't have Jumping Jack Flash? Come play. Let us hear a thing for me. I got to go with how my brain is working. I am my brain. I am what's between my in my in my skull. I mean, however my brain is transmitting and it's transmitting in a 
a different curve than that today. You know what I'm saying? The music's wrong. I don't even know what the right music would be. It wouldn't be classical. It 